First off, if you've never seen something like this before, this is an RLCD screen. So it is still an LCD screen, much like any device like your smartphone. However, it's an RLCD screen, meaning it's reflective. And the first thing we will point out that you might notice when you grab this is that there's no brightness control. And if you go into here and you go down to display, there's still no brightness control. Because this is an RLCD, you don't need to have a brightness control control. It is what it is. It's in this constant state of being completely normal and easy to see under pretty much any circumstance. So this is the home screen, the Vision OS that all the Hisense devices use. Now this is primarily a cell phone, smartphone OS that they grab from the Hisense line of phones, the A5, the A5C, the A6, etc. So you will get all the high smart stuff here on the side and you'll get your panels and pretty much it'll look like the cell phone in landscape version. You'll see you have your data communication, auto rotate and everything you would find on your uh, Hisense smartphone. You get your back, home and your multi-screen window with all of your applications running. They do have a lot of eye protection features that they're pushing because this is primarily for the fact why you'd buy this is for your eyes because it really looking at it, it's a very strange mix of it's almost e-ink, but it's not, and it's LCD, which it is, but it's not really because there's no colors. So it's very gentle on the eyes. You have eye protection mode, which you can toggle on or off, and you can have eye distance reminding, ambient light, and jitter. So these things will do things like if there's not enough ambient light, it will tell you. If it's too close to your face, it will tell you after a certain amount of time. So these things are in place for people that do have issues with their eyes, which is why you're buying this in the first place another reason is <clears throat> another reason is power saving now because it is inherently a little bit different than standard LCD and it doesn't show any colors it is actually better on battery at half charge we do have still 18 hours remaining of course this is just an estimate it's like an MPG rating for a car all of this will change based on if you have the data communication on, the Wi-Fi, whether you're even touching it at all, or if it's just in a stasis mode, but it is a little bit better than an LCD standard screen. It's a hard thing to describe on camera because this thing reacts to the camera different than it reacts to your eyes. This device kind of looks different at every single angle you turn it. For example, if I tilt it down, you're starting to see more oranges, and that is true. We are starting to see more oranges even with our eyes here in the studio. When I turn it to the right, the left side's getting kind of blue and the right side gets brighter. And if I turn it this side, yes, I'm pointing it at one of the sides of the studio lights, but you can see that it does change. It's almost like a chameleon screen. And because there is no color whatsoever, your mind tries to fill in color, so 10% of your mind says to you that you're seeing color, but you're really not. It's a very interesting thing to look at. It's almost like you're looking at something that has been etched into a piece of metal because it's not quite yellow, it's not quite silver, it's not quite white, it's not gray, it's just kind of metal colored. It's really hard to explain on camera because this thing is something you're gonna wanna see with your naked eyes.
Again, if you're just joining us, this is RLCD, meaning that this is not e-ink. It looks like you're looking at e-ink, but it's not. It is liquid crystal display. You have absolutely no issues watching videos whatsoever. They will play at full frame rate. They will play at full quality. They will play, play in high definition. There will be no color. There is no color on this device. That is not why you're buying this device. This is for people that want basically an e-ink device that can't stand the lack of refresh that comes with the territory of having e-ink, which is basically a very obvious thing. You will see that this is very fluid. There is no refresh issues whatsoever. PDFs have always been very important to screens that are very large, and this is a fairly large screen. In fact, it's a 10.5 inch screen, meaning you have that much more screen real estate than say your cell phone you're carrying around in your pocket. And this does have LCD if you're just joining us once more. It is not running e-ink so you do get all the fluidity of a tablet but none of that strain on your eyes. And because it is a big screen and because this is running a decent amount of hardware that making PDFs the experience amazing. This thing is snappy, it's quick, there's no issues with uh, glare of any kind. You can see that there the camera and the reflection is there a little bit but it is matte screen so it's a very comfortable experience. How does the ebook experience look on this device? As you may ask, you will see it looks quite nice. It is very, very responsive. You do have the ability to pinch and zoom. Now, of course, all of this will come down to the individual application you sideload onto here, but this is just giving you an idea of how much screen um, real estate you have. If you're holding it like that, how much can fit on the screen, etc. This is exactly what people were waiting for. An e-ink type screen that isn't e-ink. It's LCD, but it's not really LCD. It's RLCD, meaning you get the best of all worlds. It has a 5,000 milliamp battery. This thing is gonna last a long time. It's as easy on the eyes as e-ink is, but you don't have any of that lag because of the refresh rate. This thing is absolutely amazing and it seems to be just the answer to most people's questions. If you guys want to buy one of these it is on our store at goodyreader.com and don't worry we are going to do lots more coverage on this device, camera test, outdoor test and a bunch more comparisons. So for a full review of the Hisense Q5 RLCD 10.5 inch tablet this is Peter.